So this offseason has been crazy enough, let alone we might see Russell Westbrook, who's been the heart and soul of the OKC Thunder, be traded any day now, or at least in this off. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? I am back here today with the other side of the Russell Westbrook trade. We are going to be doing a two-team rebuild today with the... Detroit Pistons and the Miami Heat and both of them are gonna have Russell West and before we hop in I just want to say thank you I asked to hit my I think like goal on the Russell Westbrook video which was around like 11 and a half uh, thousand likes you guys are at 19 and a half thousand like thank you so much let's get into this you guys are the freaking best okay so i'm here on 2k19 obviously we do have the detroit pistons and the miami heat uh both who have russell westbrook on their team for the heat i made like the full trade and i traded justice Winslow, Drogic, and ryan anderson and then for the pistons i didn't end up making a trade because this westbrook is the one from like the 11 12 thunder that i put on this roster uh same age same overall just the contract's gonna be a little bit different because i can't up hit more than 25 mil a year and i just have reggie jackson off this team so what we're gonna do is i think these two teams are kind of the more likely teams to trade for russell westbrook i'll kind of go through them quickly so obviously teams that come up in news like the minnesota Tim Wolves, it would be interesting if they could throw in Gorgie Zhang, Jeff Teague, and like two first round picks. Um, they wouldn't even have to give up Wiggins because the Thunder may not want Wiggins. Obviously, you could do like Wiggins, Teague's expiring, and a first or two. Uh, for Ru Russ, I don't think they do that though. Uh, obviously, the Clip um, not the Clippers, the Rockets have been talked about it, but I don't think they move on from Chris Paul, nor do I think they throw Capella and everybody else and roll out a trio of Harden, Paul, and Westbrook because that'd be bad. The Pistons, I think, should make this move. They have I think all their first round picks for the next couple years. So I think they should trade a first and then maybe another protected first that can convey into two seconds if they're bad. Trade Reggie Jackson's expiring. Maybe throw in Tony Snell. Well, you don't even have to throw in Tony Snell. Maybe, um... Langston Galloway is expiring. I don't know. And then get Russ. And then obviously the Miami Heat kind of uh, would be interesting because take him to South Beach. Get another superstar to pair up with Jimmy Butler. Um, they have the contracts to make that work. So I think those four teams would be in the mix. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Phoenix or some surprising team would be in there. Okay, guys. So I have the rotations figured out. Now for the Miami Heat, I also acquired Andre Roberson in that trade to make the cap work. So we have Russ. Roberson, Jimmy Butler, James Johnson, Bam Adebayo, and then the bench is going to be Harrow, Olenek, Deion Waiters, and Derek Jones Jr. I'll probably send on Paula to the G League, and then over to the Detroit Pistons, we have Russ at the 1, Kennard at the 2, Snell at the 3, Griffin at the 4, Drummond at the 5. I would love to see Russ and Blake play. Uh, did they, were they the same draft class? 2009? No, Russ was a year before. Uh, we have Luke Kennard, obviously Derek Rosen, Doomby off the bench, Markeith Morris, and I think I'm going to send someone either like Bruce Brown to the G League. Actually, I kind of like Bruce Brown over Tony Snell. You know what? I'm honestly going to do that. Tony Snell, I'm sorry, but you're just not going to get minutes from me. We're just going to swap them. And yeah, so Bruce Brown is going to play, and I'm going to probably send uh this guy i think to the g league so if we look at the system proficiencies for both these teams the miami heat is three and a half stars with grid and grind we'll stay at that nothing is four stars and then over to Dwayne casey's uh three and a half stars is perimeter centric surprise kind of rust helps that um but yeah so we'll stick at that and then the preseason power rankings are gonna be uh for NBA.com, we got the pistons at 13 and the heat at 18 like i said this is gonna be a two-team rebuild haven't done this in a minute and the reason i'm doing these two teams obviously because i think these are the two most likely teams to land ross so i'll see you guys at the end of season number one all right guys so we end season number one and this miami heat team goes 45 and 37 unfortunately i can't see the pistons record from here so that's kind of annoying ad wins mvp john Morant rookie of the year dennis Schroeder, six man uh, Giannis defensive player of the year most improved goes to Jamal Murray and coach of the year goes to Frank Vogel so we'll see if any heat or Pistons make it now Russell Westbrook all NBA first team with the heat 27 points a game 10 rebounds 7.8 assists love to see that let's see did he make it also with the Pistons Pascal Siaka making it wow okay is this what we're about to see from Pascal post Kawhi era that'd be something else um, and then yeah, we got no Pistons here or no other heat. So no Jimmy Butler uh, No Pistons or heat. We do get Ru okay Apparently Russ on the heat is killing it better than Russ on the Pistons and yeah So that's gonna be it. It looks like nope We do get Dumbia on the Pistons here on our rookie second team not bad And it looks like Tyra Harrow did not make it so Eastern Conference Pistons are a two seed and the heat are a four seed So we'll take a look at the player stats for the uh 
the Pistons. Now, Blake Griffin, 21 points, 10 rebounds. Russell Westbrook, 20 points a game, 7.5 assists, 3.5 rebounds. Okay. Um, this is, yeah, the throwback Russell Westbrook. So, interesting. He is now 31 now with this. Uh, Drummond, 14 and 13. Rebounding machine. He is a player option. We'll see if he opts out. If he opts out, I'm probably going to bring him back. Uh, Derrick Rose, 14 points, 3.5 assists. There's Luke Kennard, 10 and 5. Dumbia Brown, Morris, and Galloway. And then if we go over to the Miami Heat, uh, Russell Westbrook was a beast. Jimmy Ball with 20 points a game, 5 rebounds, 4.7 assists. Tower Harrell off the bench. Very nice stuff. Probably going to start him next year. He's been killing it in the summer league. And I know the Thunder apparently want Harrow in a trade um, with the Heat. And I think the Heat are reluctant, reluctant to give him up after seeing a ball in the Summer League. So you can see definitely Winslow probably be the main focal point of that trade. And then here's Johnson Waiters out of bio who I think will be the answer for us in center. We'll see though. And then there's Robinson Jones and whatever. So round one here. Heat are playing the Raptors. The Pistons are playing the New York Knicks. So obviously it's Pascal Siakam. And then I don't know really who bowled out for the Knicks. I'm guessing it is RJ uh, Barrett or Julius Randle or maybe Kevin Knox. As the Heat sweep the Raptors. And the Pistons beat the Knicks in seven. Who was balling out for the Knicks? Was it DSJ? He was playing well. What about Randle? Eh, Randle's playing all right. How did uh, RJ Barrett do? Oof. Oof, not not good at all. Uh, I want to get past that. So the Heat are now taking on the Brooklyn Nets, and the Pistons are taking on the Bucks as the Heat are up 2-0. Uh, Bucks though sweep the Pistons with Russ, and the Heat are tied with the Nets, and they're up 3-2. Can they win in seven? They do, and now the Heat are in the conference finals to take on the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Bucks are up 2-0. Uh, Bucks are up 3-0, and unfortunately, the Bucks sweep the Heat. So, you know what? The Heat made it to the Conference Finals. Our goal is to hopefully have one and two seeds in the East and let them play each other in the Conference Finals, and then obviously whoever wins that wins the Finals. So, the Milwaukee Bucks win it all, and Giannis is your Finals MVP. They do beat the Utah Jazz in five. So, now we're going to move on to the offseason so where we can actually upgrade these teams. Can I get a third star to maybe Miami? Could I maybe upgrade at center? Or I don't know what I'm going to do with Detroit. So, come draft lottery, the Heat actually have their 2020 pick but from now on i have to trade it to i believe uh okc geez i don't know why i couldn't think of that and the pistons are picking 24 in this year's draft so drifts or staff signing here uh we definitely got to fire our trader for the heat now we'll keep spolstra we'll keep pat riley definitely now for the pistons we'll fire our assistant gm pick up masters um we'll keep dwayne casey but i do want to fire carlos lopez and pick up, hmm, we'll pick up Sean Lee. So we do get the trainer for the Heat and for the Pistons. We do get Masters and the trainer. So NBA draft time. We'll look at the Pistons roster first. So looking at this team, I don't know who I would want to move. We do have Lewis King, which I actually thought he was going to go first round of real life and he went undrafted. Uh, so, I mean, Marcus, uh, Mark Keith Morris in our first round pick could be two assets. Okay, Kevin Love is interesting. Wow. But... So that means we can take on a decent amount of cap here. Let me just make sure financial trade rules are on. Okay, they are on. So let's see what we can maybe get. I am looking for a small forward or shooting guard because Doobie could play the small forward. So if I give like a stud shooting guard, that'd be nice. Okay, not really looking like much there. Now, what about if I go to position type? Huh, I'm going to see. Uh, like Drew Holiday would be nice, but I don't know if we can make this work. If I did Markeith Morris, my first round this year, my first round next year, and a second round pick for Drew Holiday... Okay, they don't want to do that. What about if I throw in uh, this guy? Uh, but I take away th uh, this year's first. Mm. Okay, what about if I throw in this year's first? There we go. So we just picked up Drew Holiday to the Detroit Pistons. So now we're going to have a Russ Westbrook. And then we're going to have Drew Holiday at the two. Uh, Doobie at the three. Griffin at the four. Drummond at the five. That's filthy. So now we can go over to the Miami Heat side of things. Uh, where we do have Deion Waiters contract to possibly move. Um, so let's see what I can get for Waiters' contract and the 17th pick in the draft. Okay, so I'm looking for a power forward, and Gallinari just inked up this extension with the Thunder. So I'm going to end up trading Deion Waiters in the 17th pick for Gallo and Devin Hall. So now we're going to have, for the Heat lineup, it's going to be Westbrook, Harrow, Butler, Gallinari, and Adebayo. I love these lineups for both these teams. So for the Heat's options, obviously we're going to bring back Adebayo. Johnson and Olenek can be bench players, and I know Kendrick Nunn has been playing pretty well in the G, uh, the G League, the Summer League, but I'm not going to bring him back. And then for the Pistons, Drummond opts in. We'll bring back Kennard, Brown, Snell opts in, obviously, and then Savi Mikhaik. Uh, we'll bring back and same with Kyrie Thomas. So for both these teams, Free, uh, cap space isn't going to be a thing. I'll give the qualifying offer to Thought Maker, sure. But hopefully, some of these guys have like their exceptions to use. Uh, let's see. So, for the Pistons, hmm. 
I wonder if I have like a Wade Ellington, but let me look at these rosters first. Okay, so for the Pistons, I need a backup center. Now, Aaron Baines, I do like, so I'm gonna try to give Aaron Baines. You can see on the right, we don't have a lot of cap space. And now for the Heat, so for the Heat, I do want a backup point guard. Should we bring back Shabazz Napier? Uh, I'll probably bring in Yogi Ferrell to a three-year deal because we don't have a lot of money either for the Miami Heat. So after day one, do we get Ferrell? We do. And do we pick up Aaron Baines? We do. So yeah, this means Thon Maker. I'm just not bringing him back. He's been pretty much a big bust in the NBA so far. Roberson. Yeah, we're not going to bring back. Uh, do we have bird rights on him? We do. I mean, I'll offer him a three-year deal because I can move him to small forward. He can be pretty good, but we do have Kizia Pala. So we'll just, it, it doesn't hurt to have more players on this roster who are 80 overalls. Because if I do move Roberson to an 80, this is the Pistons. If I do move Roberson to the 80s, he will go up, or to the 80s, to the small forward position, he will go up to an 80. All right, so for player progression, Russ and Jimmy are regressing. Uh, this Russ goes up in overall, but yeah. Uh, so Gallo's at 82, which is a little bit low, but I can always flip him next offseason. Harrow goes up a lot, which is nice. So does Opala. And for the Pistons, Dubia goes up to a 78 and Bruce Brown 76. I did trade away the guy sent in the G League. Wow, Lewis King, 76, not bad. All right, so for the Pistons, on top potential, definitely go to Dubia. And you know what? I'm also going to send it to Luke Kennard. I forget that we have also Drew Holiday. I hope he hasn't been regressing. And for the Heat, definitely going to send it to Bam and then Tyler Harrow. Uh, I do want to see has, um... Uh, can I even, okay. I do want to see, did you holiday regress? Mm, he's an 84. Why does he regress so much in 2K? Okay, guys, so here's how the rotations are going to go for both teams. Russ and Jimmy getting 35, Harrow getting 33. Gallo getting 33, Bam 32, and then the bench is going to be Olenek, Roberson, James Johnson, and Yogi Ferrell, and then over to the Pistons side of things, we got Russ getting 35, Drew getting 34, Gumbia getting 30, Griffin 34, and Drummond 32, and the bench is a lot better than the Heats. It's Rose, Kennard, Brown, and Baines. I wouldn't say a lot better, but I would say it's better. Uh, system proficiency for the Pistons is three and a half stars. If we do go to pace and space, it is four stars. Okay, so I, or balance. So we'll go to balance. And then for the heat, is anything four stars? Yes, uh, balances as well. And then if we go over to preseason power rankings, the Pistons and Heat are going to be 13 out of the Heat. And the Pistons are pretty low. Gee, wait. Okay, maybe I missed them. All right. The Pistons are actually two. Oh my god, I missed that. Wow. Okay, so the Pistons are second. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And let's hope both these teams can be the one and two seed in the Eastern Conference. All right, guys. So Russell Westbrook of the Miami Heat goes out and wins MVP. This team goes 53 and 29. So Russ could be maybe an MVP again in Miami. I don't know. But uh, shout out to him. We'll see if we get any other awards from the Pistons or Heat. And Tower Harrow, most improved. Love to see that. He shot 97% from the line. Damn, okay. A lot of people are making the comparisons to Devin Booker. I don't know. It's because he's like a light-skinned shooting guard out of Kentucky who was drafted in the teens. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Uh, but he does definitely look like a great player in the summer league. So I think he could have gotten a very good value pick there. Um, and Eric Spolster gets coach of the year. So it looks like the Heat were better than the Pistons. So now the Heat... Um, or Russell Westbrook of the Heat is on NBA first team. We'll see if we get any other Pistons or Heat to make this list. Pascal Siakam. Jesus. Oh my God, Pascal. I see you. Okay, shout out to Mike Conley making all NBA second team. Uh, there's Katie and Kat. And then third team, we do get Blake Griffin of the Pistons. Okay, 22 and a half, 9.7, 5 assists, 35% from three. I'll take that. And then are we going to get any Pistons or Heat? We do get Russ of the Heat who's probably the better of the two Russes on all defensive second team, and we're going to have no rookies. So, the Heat do their job. They get the one seed. The Pistons weren't quite the two seed. They get the three seed. So, player stats for the Heat. Russell Westbrook, 26, 9.7, 9 rebounds, stud, eight, or 9.7 rebounds, 8 assists, damn. Uh, Tower Harrow, 18, 3.5, 47 from the field, 37 from three. Baller, 18 a game, 4.5 rebounds. Gallo, 13.5, 5.5, 2. Don't know if I'm going to move him. We'll see. Uh, there's a Olenek, who I did give a contract extension to. There's a Bio 9 and 10. And then there's Johnson, Farrell, and Roberson, who is just terrible offensively. And then if we go over to the Pistons, they had Blake, who was the leading scorer, followed by Russ. Um, not, I guess, a good rebounder yet. And then there's Drummond, 14 and 13. Derek Rose, 14 and thir uh, 3 and a half. And then Drew, Dumbia, Kennard, Brown, and Baines. All right, so round one here in the Eastern Conference. The Heat are down 1-0, but it looks like they are going to take a 2-1 lead. Pistons are also up 3-1. Okay, Heat are tied 2-2. 3-2, oh my god. I Like, I stressed enough about one series. Having to follow two series is going to make me lose my mind. All right, so the Pistons are in round two here, taking on the three-seated 76ers, who are pretty good. They ended up with Jaden McDaniels. Damn, um, he fell to 21. Okay. Uh, they have Trey Young? 
What? Wait, wait, I'm so lost. Wait, they have Ben Simmons. How did they trade for... Tr what? What? Okay, is this save, like, all messed up? What is going on? Wiggins was traded for Tyus Jones. Okay. What was Trey Young traded for? Oh, my God. The Nets traded Rondé Howard, Jefferson, DeAndre Jordan for Draymond Green. Tobias Harris and Matisse Thibel got them Trey Young. <laughs> wow. Okay. What a trade. I am kind of... Okay. Um, I, I don't need a point guard, but that'd be very interesting if I, uh, if I did. So, we're taking on the Nets who paired up... Draymond and KD again. I guess they ended up with Ronda Howard Jefferson again because he obviously signed with Toronto. <laughs> okay. They, they're actually probably going to beat us, the Pistons. Now I'm worried. Uh, not the Pistons, the Nets. All right. So the Sixers were up 2 0. Not good. 2 uh, 2 Pistons. Okay. Both series are 2 2. 3 2 Pistons. Game 7 for both. Oh my God. And the Pistons don't win. Oh, but the Heat move on. All right. Damn. So the Pistons cannot beat the Sixers. Um, we'll see if the Heat can. They're up 2 0. 2-1. to one. Can they go up 3-1? to one? No. 2-2. Two 3-2. Two. Two. Can we win in 7? Okay. Or 6. I meant. Now we're taking on the Warriors who have Curry, D'Lo, Clay, DeAndre Jordan now, and Willie Cauley-Stein and Ronnie Howard Jefferson. Yeah. He ended up signing back with Brooklyn. That's funny. So, game 1 of this finals, the Warriors won by 1 point. Russ versus the Warriors. Alright. Game 2... We do win this one. All right, we won by 13, 41 point fourth quarter. Shout out to Russ, seven for 10 from three. That's how he's gonna save his career. He needs to be a good three point shooter. And we go up two to one, we blow them out in this game. Gallo with a 29 piece, love that. Uh, game four, we do win this one, uh, 121.96. Shout out to 32, 10 and seven from Russ. And then game five here, can we win this one in five? And then I'm gonna hop in and play with this team. So it is looking like we are gonna win. Um, okay, it is kind of close, but it looks like we are kind of pulling away here. All right, so we are up by 10. I think we're chilling. All right, so we're up by 10. We are playing in Miami. I actually love Miami's court. I gotta, I've actually never been to Miami personally, and I really want to see a Heat game. Um, Last year, okay, are we ever going to take these free throws? What stadiums did I go to? Like, I went to Philly. I was actually not that many last year. I've, I, I haven't been to MSG in forever. I didn't go to Barclays last year. I just went to Philly, I think. Wow, I need to go to a lot. Why does Russ feel so slow? What is going on? What is going on? I am so lost. What is going on? Okay, I fixed that. That was weird. I think I was on some custom setting. That was... Okay. So now it's, of course, a six-point game. So they're coming back. But yeah, like I was saying, I definitely need to go to... I, I'm going to a Knicks game this year, 100%. I haven't gone the last two years, kind of for obvious reasons, and I was in college. Oh, my God. Uh, they have a chance to make this a two-possession game or even a one-possession game. Russell Westbrook, though. Crazy stat line stuff. All right, let's win this tip, and let's just score. I don't even know why I'm trying to go to Gallo. I'm just going to go pick... Why is Rush jumping so slow? Okay. Um, oh my god, Curry on Russ. Alright, what is Russ's permanent E? It's an A. Very good. But I also know I think I'm going to a Pels game this year or something like that. Or at least I definitely want to. Uh, so here we go. Tyler Harrow, 16 points. Uh, ooh, Clay. Okay, four-point game, four-point game. I'm not worried at all. Okay, can I be smart here? Let's go ISO. Let's just go BAM screen on the left. Russ, you're so explosive. Stop! Stop! Oh my god! Another jump ball! And it's DeAndre versus Russ. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Alright, I, I guess I'm never doing a pick and roll again because if I get double teamed, clearly I'm just gonna give it up. Curry for three, no way. Great D by Russ. Okay, thank god he missed that. And of course, I get the board right out to Clay. Mm, mm. Oh my god, it's a one point game. It's a one point game. It's a freaking one point game. Alright, Harrow, do you run floppy? Alright, let's get Harrow. Actually, I don't even know why I'm going for a three. I don't even know why I'm calling for a screen again. Alright, get out of my way. Oh, there we go. Out of bio. Perfect roll. Perfect roll. Right past DeAndre Jordan. And it is a three point game. Alright, Curry for three. And it's a tie game. I just blew a 10 point lead in a minute and 10 seconds. Like, that is, I think, like, like an all time high. Alright, Russ and one. Oh, Russ free throws. All right, at least we know we're going to get the final shot as long as we can hold them for 12 more seconds or whatever. All right, Russ, good looking first free throw. Please hit the second, please. Oh my God, they have a chance to take the lead. Oh, I thought it was going to get a steal there. Okay, can we get on Khalil Whitney? Oh my God, and he goes right by Jimmy. Oh my God, I'm actually going to bug out. All right, can we just get a two for one? Um, Okay, of course not. Of course not. All right, you know what? I'm going to take the final... Uh. You know what? I'm going to take my time. I can't believe I blew this lead. My excuse is I was just on vacation. I haven't played this game in like uh, a week. So, Russ, out to Harrow, please. Ah, uh, that was a bad shot, but please, Harrow. Tyler Harrow! Let's freaking go! Okay, guys. So, we have our defensive line about there, which means Roberson and James Johnson are in. Tower Harrow and Gallinari are out. So, now we got uh, Steph Curry, who goes right by me, of course. And, wow, that was just... 
Nice. All right, well, now let's just get the starters out there. I guess I'm just going to go Rust attack the rim because, I mean, it's Russell freaking Westbrook. So let me just get the ball over here. Just don't turn it over. Gallo, please give me a quick screen. Don't, like, play no games here. Rush straight to the rack. There we go. And he misses the freaking rim. Are you... Oh, my God. Yep, yep. Get your, get your uh, comments off that I just blew a 10-point lead in two minutes. All right, and of course... Oh, we're going to get blown out at the Oracle, and we're going to go to a Game 7. No way. No freaking way they do this to me. Oh, my God. All right, Game 7, please. Oh, my God. All right, good first quarter. Good second quarter. All right. <laughs> no lead is safe with me. I think we're going to be chilling for this game. All right, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, we went by 34. Oh, I was almost that scared. Oh, all right. So, Russell Westbrook ended up dropping 32, 5, and 10. I love it. 22. Man, I can't believe I'm even going to show that game. Yeah, you guys are going to clown me in the comments. I mean, rightfully so. So, we win it all. Finals MVP is Russell Westbrook. So, that is going to be my two-team rebuild for the uh, Russell Westbrook trade. I mean, only one team was going to win it all. I do personally want to see Russ get traded to Detroit. I mean, Miami's going to be entertaining nonetheless with Winslow, Butler, Harrow, and Adebayo. I mean, Detroit does have players that are interesting to watch, like Break. Um, uh, Blake Griffin, Mike Derrick Rose, like Kennard, Mike Dumbia, Drummond, not so much. But I think adding Russell Westbrook to that team could make them, honestly, an NBA Finals contender. Like, 100%. It's The East isn't wide open. I would say the two teams that are, like, the top of the conference are going to be Milwaukee and Philly. Just, they're so deep and so talented. Boston can be good. So can Indy. And even Toronto can be good again. But I think Milwaukee and Philly are good. But I think this Pistons team, if they add Russ, and they have Russ, Dumbia, Kennard, uh, Markeith, Moore, uh, Markeith Morris, Bruce Brown, Tony Snell, like Drummond Griffin. Like I think they could be good in the East. Even Miami with Jimmy and Russ and freaking Adebayo and maybe Harrow uh, if they are able to just give up wins on that trade. So yeah, let me know in the comments where you want to see Russ get traded. Maybe you don't even want to see these two teams. I would also like to see him in the East. Maybe you want to see him get traded to Minnesota or Houston. Or maybe you just want to see him get traded to like Orlando or Phoenix. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.